Hello everyone, this is Anton, and in this video I'm going to get into another plugin around productivity. This one here is focused on the community plugin that supports Todoist. So if we come into the plugins area here, we have the Todoist plugin configurations. I've already gone ahead and installed it. You can browse, type in Todoist and you will get the Todoist plugin. Just install it, enable it, and you'll get this particular configuration screen here where all you need to do is come in here. They've made it super, super, super easy. You just put in your API key or token within this one field. Uh, mine is blurred out here, and if you don't know where this is, they even provided an easy link to where you click on this. If you're logged into Todoist, it will take you to the um, to the actual page that will have your API key on it and you just paste it in here now once you paste it in there you can come in here and you can change um, any of these you know configurations that you have in here I won't go through these here you can easily just read through and toggle them on and off uh, and pretty much get what you know that look and feel that you want for your um, for the view of your Todoist tasks and activities that come in. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, one thing with this plugin is that you do want to hone in and focus on the hotkeys for these here. And I'll go ahead into the hotkeys area, type on Todoist, and you want to configure these keys to make it easier for you to add new um, tasks for Todoist. So this is one really nice productivity piece here where within Todoist you can add an actual task in Todoist without actually switching over into the app itself. So you get to be able to view the tasks that you have in Todoist and you also get to add tasks into Todoist um, as well and all from X Obsidian. So we can see the hotkeys that I have here right now. Now let's go into a, a note that I have. Um, and what I've done is I've created the note, use basically the, the, the view for Todoist. You put in a little bit of code here. Here's one of the formats for the um, today and over two tasks where it filters those, those out. Um, you can also have other ones for say maybe upcoming within the next 30 days so I have these two that are separate from each other here um, and then I have starred these as favorites to make it easy for me to get into these so I'll go ahead into the the, the one that I go into most of the time which are the ones for, that show today's tasks and any overdue tasks and once I click on the outside of the code area there we'll see any task that needs to be done. Now from within here, I can go ahead and I can check these off once they are done. Um, other than that, you cannot really edit these uh, tasks that are already here and make changes to them. Um, so you would have to switch over into the different uh, Todoist app in order to do that. But if you want to create new tasks in here, what I could do is use my hotkey and it will bring up the create new to do us task from here. Now I can come in here and create this task personal test task. It's going to go in my inbox, but I can change that to wherever I want to within my uh, to do us um, workspace. I can add any labels to this here if I want. We'll say fitness. And then I can put in there a day and I'll put today to make it easy there. You can change the priority as well. Um, so let's say this is a priority one and then I will go ahead and I will add that task. So that task will go in and once it does a refresh automatically or I can come in here and I can do the refresh and we can see that that task showed up here, that personal test task, which is in my inbox it's due today and it has that label for fitness um, another thing that you can do so let's bring up another note um, let me see here we'll, we'll click out of here we'll create a new note 
and from here there's also a hotkey that will allow you to put a a note or a uh, task in Todoist relative to and link back to the note that you're in so um, actually let me go back to let me go to my today view here my daily note so we have a daily note here and if you want to put in a task for this uh, that's related to this daily note or maybe you have a note based on a project or something else what you can do is hit your hotkey for mine this is the the shift option and Y and this create create new ta uh, to do as task but it also puts in the link to this particular um, uh, note that I have in obsidian so I can still go in and change where the where it's located within my Todoist environment. I can put any labels I want. I can put in the days and I'll put today on that one and I can put a priority. So I will go ahead and add this and then what we'll see here is if I go back to the Todoist here let me okay so we I didn't even have to refresh it already is here. So I can see I have a task in Todoist that's showing up here and it has a link to this particular note so I can click on that and it takes me directly to this daily note or whatever note you want to link into now you can actually put in um, maybe notifications and a bit more details around the task that you have to do that's related to this note um, without using one of the other plugins within obsidian so if you're already using Todoist for all your of your other tasks and projects then this will help you continue to use that tool for that purpose but also then have documents and notes and information within Obsidian. So if I go within uh, um, Todoist itself we can come in here into the inbox and I should have in the inbox let me see or today that note that I just created and you can see here it just populated down here at the bottom so it does have to refresh into the tool but once it refreshes you'll see it in uh, Todoist your Todoist as well as in the Obsidian space so I can still click on this link here and again it takes me to the note within Obsidian so pretty simple straightforward this plugin is not complicated at all it really allows you to create a basic note it allows you to create a note that's linked uh, a, well allows you to create a task that's linked to a note and then you have a hotkey to actually do a refresh now um, and then other than that you can come in here and using the different formatting um, you can come in here into this code uh, block here and you can kind of format the code block so that the task activity list here has what you want in it and looks the way that you want it to look all right so that is it for the Todoist plugin if you found this information helpful go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day